We will do as much as possible. We'll close and go. Five o'clock, everybody will be seated down here. Amen. Amen. Look, wherever, wherever the enemy has planned a loss, loss, loss of property, loss of money, loss of anything, loss of life, we stand in the authority of the word of God and say because of his power, there will be no losses. Whatever the enemy come to steal, to take, and to destroy, we recover them. Amen. They're all recovered. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Whatever, whatever, whatever it is that's come to steal, by the power of this God that we serve, when David was going through his CV, or resume. He said, when the lion came and the bear came, took a sheep that was under my care. I ran after it and grabbed him and put my mouth, my hand in the mouth and pulled out the sheep. This is what Saul looked at and said, this guy has something. You must have something in your resume. So we run to the mouth of the lion and bring out whatever the lion is trying to take from you. Amen. Do you believe that? Can I get a living amen? amen? We are here to give God praise and honor and adoration and worship and dance before him that has brought us this far. We was at a point in this service today or later in the day, we will shout Happy New Year again. Because your new year has started. Amen. It's not a wasted 21 days. It's not. And it will not be. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's read the word of God together. Have a brief time to be here. Minister this morning. Exodus chapter 15, verse 9 through 13. Come on, church. Come on, church. Let's read together. Go. Pursue. I will overtake. I will divide the spoil. My loss shall be satisfied upon them, and I will draw my sword. My hand shall destroy them. Thou didst blow with a, the sea cover them. They sank as lay in the mighty waters. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders? Thou stretched out hand. And the earth swallowed them. Thou in the mercy has let Amen. Amen. Father, open our eyes. As we come with thanksgiving, receive our praise. As we come to recount your wonderful doings among men, among us. As we come as people that have been authorized and empowered to possess and habit habitate the land, we come with thanksgiving. What a great privilege that the king of the universe will consider us worthy to call us his own. Amazing grace. Amazing love. Amazing power. That you have lavished upon us. Thank you. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Let's be seated. We are looking at the time. We are thanking God. We are rejoicing. Over what only the Lord can do. And has done. Let's go to that, the place we are reading. And we have seen it all. The Lord has spoken over and over. 
especially in the past three, four days, have we come together for an eye-opening sessions of these meetings as we gather. Now, we discover that no retirement for you as a believer. There's no retirement in Christianity. If you are serving the Lord, you will serve the Lord to the end of your life. So there's no time you consider, it's okay, having served the Lord for 35 years or having served the Lord for 40, 50 years, and therefore I put in my retirement for Christianity. Then who do you go to? Then what do you do? Serving the Lord, being a child of God, being God's, means from day one unto the days of your life on earth. And we have done that. You know, that's one of the simple things, wonderful mysteries of this life. That my eyes opened in this land to discover or to see is the power of the word of mouth. Prior to last Wednesday, amen, amen. Joe Biden wasn't the president. But what did he do on Wednesday to become the president? It's just like this, isn't it? I said, I, ah, Joseph, blah, 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 ah, you on them. Amen. By the time he finished that, less than one minute, he will say, you have become the president. By that simple thing. What did Esau do to lose his bad right? Just what that's, what am I going, what if I die of hunger here? That's, of what need has the bad right to me? Give me a, a plate of food and take it. Simple. Amen. Amen. In the same manner, you came to Christ by a simple confession. So I'm relating it to these ones. If you are doubting or wondering at what point did you get in that you can't get out. Thank God you got in and you can't get out. You have become one by that simple confession of Christ. Hallelujah. So if this one can be considered real, your faith is more real. So over these days, have we said to that and claimed it and stood on it that forever, as long as we live, we are God's. The Lord owns us. We have sworn to serve the Lord. We got our mind made up. And we won't turn back. Hallelujah. No turning back. We have decided to follow Jesus. We have decided I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. I won't turn back. I won't turn back. So because of that, it's forward ever and backward never. Him we will serve. Him we will look after. Him we will seek morning, afternoon, and night. Him we will hang our faith in. Him we will depend on. Him has become our all in all. Over the past 21 days, all you've done is just to say to him, if you leave me one second, I wouldn't even be in existence. The songwriter said, one without you is then left to die. Our fulfillment in life, everything we are and everything we can ever be is found in him. Listen to me. As we go through this tw the rest of the year, know that when you turn back or turn left, turn right, you only see Jesus. And if Jesus is on your side, you can fall. Turn to someone and say, you can fall. So, the enemy, here we are in the same chapter 15 of Exodus. 
the enemy has said to them, I will pursue. That means I will chase after to destroy. Look, every man that is designed to chase after you in 2021, he will fall. It's him, it's her that will fall. The plan and purpose of the enemy is to chase them and pursue them, overtake them, and divide their spoil. My loss on them shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw my sword, and my hand shall destroy them. This is the plan of the enemy. Because John 10.10 10 says he came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Amen. Amen. Come on, church. Amen. Amen. I will overtake. Look. The Lord, in one of the sessions during this season, assured us of speed. If you're walking on the speed of the Lord, no one can overtake you. If the speed of the Lord is what you're operating on. On that same day, we dealt with recovery. When you're walking on the speed of the Lord, when it comes upon you, every lost time, every lost season, every lost wealth will be recovered. That they will also come to the point of, we come to agree that when somebody has lost years in life, when God is causing you to recover, he's not adding just to add 10 years for you. No, what he adds is speed and resources. So that those that had gone too far in the accomplishment, by the time the speed of the Lord come upon you, with all what he has and what he had planned for you. What took 10 years to accomplish can take you 10 months Amen. or less than 10 months. Amen. So the plan of the enemy will always be dashed. I will overtake, I will divide the spoil. Look, anything the Lord has blessed you with, the difference between God's blessings and the things that is out there that's not from the Lord, is that whatever God does is permanent. Church, whatever God does is what? Permanent. It's permanent. So if anybody is counting on it, look. Any season in life that people rise and say, hey, that's, their target is you. No, they're not targeting you. They're targeting the God in you. Amen. Amen. They're targeting the God in you. And because nobody can take God from me. Bible says in Colossians that our life is hid in Christ. And Christ in God. Which means for anybody to touch you where you are, must touch God first. Touch Christ. Then before going in. But who has power to remove God and remove Christ and to come near where you are? That's why when you walk, you walk with boldness. You walk with power. Because I know who I am. I will draw my sword. My hands will destroy them. No way. Can somebody say no way? No way. Paul writing the Romans say, If God be for us, if God be for me, if God be for you, if God be for your family, if God be with you in what you do, who can be against you? Who? Isaiah 54 says, I am the one that make the man, that makes the, make the weapons, that produce them. I'm the one, I'm the God that made the blacksmith that makes the weapons. Therefore, no weapon formed against you. Church, are we together? Yes, sir. Therefore, no one, no one of them that is formed against you will prosper. 
Have you not had testimonies of where people get to people and was shooting guns on them and the guns wasn't going off? Because no weapon. Can the church say no weapon? Because no none of them will prosper. You meant the next verse 10. Look, people can speak out of pomposity, arrogance, and power of the flesh. Oh, I love Psalm 2. Psalm 2 asks, why do the heathens rage? Why do people imagine vain things against the Lord and his anointed? Oh, come on, church. Why do the heathens rage? Why would they know that this person is of the Lord and they're still planning and making some concussions against them? It won't work because God with us he said, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. Why? Thou, the Lord. Is anybody here with me at all? If I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. What's the reason? The reason is what? Because I know that I know that the Lord is with me. Is it in the Bible that one with God is majority? <laughs> okay. <laughs> one with God is majority. <laughs> they that are with us are more than those out there. <laughs> that means it's in the Bible. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Now, why did they cook all those and plan all those, meet together and be plotting themselves, doing their statistics and mathematics? He said, Thou did this. Okay, let's read this verse together. Go. Thou. When they were planning all those, it didn't even take God getting up. It didn't take your owner getting up. He didn't even get up. He didn't even speak. What he did was... What did he do to them? He blew them with the what? The wind. Look, you watch tornadoes and discover that even 18 wheelers can be picked up. Amen. But not when we and our people are on the road. You discover that 18 wheelers can be picked up and be thrown like feather. And tornado is just a little just, you know it has an eye or the, the eye of the tornado. And covering a little span of an area and do that damage. But the owner of the universe that covers the whole earth, and whose eyes go to and fro, and looking for those who are looking for him. So he blow the wind, and the sea did what? The sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty waters, because the Lord has spoken. On your behalf, the Lord has spoken. The Lord has spoken. Yeah. Hold firm unto him that he has spoken. He has promised he will never fail. Get into the air, walk with an open mind. Look, everyone that has planned his retirement, that God can no longer use you to accomplish purposes on earth. God cannot use you again to plan and establish things. God cannot use you again to employ thousands of people. This day, we command and speak over your life. If you are hanging over to hand over, planning to hand over to your children, no, you're not done yet. And God has not done with you yet. If you believe that, can I get an amen? You're not done yet. Recharge. Every of those dreams that are in our, 
whoop. Oh, I should be this. I will be this. I will be that. I look like this. I do this. this. I would have done this and that. We we'll begin to give back to them. Yeah. In this 2021, look, it's not going to be an ordinary year. Look, even, even in the midst of 2020, was doing all the days. Yet God still picked you and favored you. Yes, Talk less in 2021. I, I rejoice. I smile on my own. I say, wow. I see where he's taking me to. I see the road he's taking me through. I see the things. Oh, I burst into smiles. See the plan of God for you, for you, for this church, for this house here, for the people here. I say, wow. The Lord will wow you this year. They sank. Even the river experts, the swimming experts, when the wind of the Lord is blowing in the water, there's no expert again because a mighty power has come. Look, be confident in yourself that I know who I'm serving. But I know whom I have believed. I'm not persuaded that he's able to do that which I've committed unto him. Commit your life. Commit your business. Amen. Commit your job. Amen. Commit everything you do. Commit your marriage. Commit your family. Commit your children. Everything you are. Do what? Commit it unto him. He's able. He's able. Amen. He's able. Amen. Can I hear church out? He's able. able. Thou did not blow with the winds and cover them. And they sank in the mighty waters. It's lead. Give me the next verse. Come on, church. Let's read it together. Okay. This is the man that has gotten his triumph. The man, the stamp person, in verse 9, the enemy was planning to destroy. The man who witnessed what God in verse 10 is the one who now sat and looked at the winds and looked out through the windows and all the doors and looked up to the skies and said, now his heart is bubbling. And what did he say? Who is like unto thee, O Lord? Who is like unto you, the great God, the great I am that I am, that you do mighty things among the gods, the little, little other gods, the small, small demons. Who is like unto you that is glorious in holiness? Fearful in praises. Come on. Your praise must go to the level of being fearful. That when you are doing it and doing it, when you are doing it and rocking it and rocking it and rocking it, and somebody will know, wow, this God is fearful in what? In praises. And you're giving him what he's desiring. Look, God doesn't want you. Thank God for all my beautiful sisters that cook well. What you cook is the ones we eat here. God don't eat them. What God eats direct from you is what? Praise. What God takes from you direct is what? Praise. So, any opportunity you have, whenever you are, give him a quantity, a quality of praise that is worthy. You can see, wow, when the Lord delivered and this man saw with his eyes what God has done, what he can do, what he promised to do, how he has turned thousands and thousands of people into the rivers. I remember earlier, he has said to them, look back. These Egyptians you see today, you shall see them no more. That was the saying. That was when he made, look, when it looked like it was impossible, how can this be? Look, anywhere in the scriptures where the Lord, that question has been posed, how can this be? Has turned out to be something great and wonderful. Mary, was spoken to and said, hey, inside you now, you will bear a child. And the child is there already now. And you will call his name Emmanuel. 
as God is with us. And everything in the world look, was against it. Look, when God wants to turn you around, you don't need to look like it. There was nothing physical to point to Mary of pregnancy. First and foremost, you got to marry. He wasn't. She wasn't. But the order of God is different from the order of men. God is not man. Anything God embarks to do, he will do. Anything God wants to do, he will do. That's why when you look at yourself, you tell yourself and know that you are qualified and overqualified. For everything God has destined you to be, you are qualified for it. Can I get an amen to that? You are qualified. If Joseph can be picked from being a slave boy in Egypt, slavery is a disqualification, number one. Number two, becoming an ex-convict. Hello? Slavery was one. Then all of a sudden he went to prison, which means going to prison has... Even if you have been a citizen and go to prison, that's a disqualification there. Am I right? Yes, sir. But what God did was to go deposit something in him that the nation would be looking for. That when they discover that that thing is in him, slavery will be canceled. Being an ex-convict will be nothing. Being a foreigner also. Oh, Lord, my God, my God. He got to be a citizen first now. So all those added together was all negative, negative, negative against him. But when God showed up, every negative was turned positive. Packed all of them together. Carried all of them together. Oh, is somebody listening to me? Packed all of them together. Negative this, negative that, negative that, negative that. Not qualified, not qualified, not qualified. Oh, the only one that has qualifications in his hand is the one that has the whole world in his hand. Look, anywhere I am, I shared the story of my journey one day, long time ago, to an unknown, a place I didn't know, and we're on the road to 12 midnight. Those days of luxury buses. I had no clue. I have not gone to that place before. I didn't know what to do. All of a sudden, something hit me. Wow. See, so everywhere you are in this earth, you're in your father's compound. Because the Lord who has the whole earth. Confidence arose. We're getting to where the boss will stop and people will disembark. Here I am, somebody that was sitting close to me came to ask, I don't know any direction. Where, how do I go to this place and this place? Know the battle I'm having inside me. I didn't know there was somebody else. Why that question was asked? The driver announced that who? Because of so so and so, I will park the car and as many people as want to stay behind inside the bus should stay till morning. I turned my eyes. David said, I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. Where will my help come from? And David knew that the help will come from where? The Lord, who made the heavens and the earth. Therefore, anywhere you are in 2021, stay with boldness. Stay with confidence. Let no man intimidate you. Because anywhere you are in the world, you are in your father's house or compound. Sometimes we take it as an offense. Where are you from? I'm from wherever.
from heaven. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That's the purpose. That's the reason for which we stand and make these declarations. You fast and pray and fast and pray. Look, you will be disappointing the Lord and disappointing the church and disappointing me as a person. If you go back after this fast and prayer this season and you go back to your old way of 2020, something needs to change. Something needs to improve. And you are the only one that can initiate it. Because the Lord has given us the power. Amen. 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 Among the gods, there's none like you, glorious in holiness and fearful in praises. What's the next one? Church, what's the next one? What's the next one? Doing wonders. He does wonders. And since his attributes, since his nature is doing wonders, he cannot stop doing wonders until he gets to you. He cannot stop doing wonders until he gets to you and pass through you. There are people here that can testify. Even Sadabola can testify that he does wonders. He can pick you in the midst of death and give you life. Oh, we must know this God that we serve. Let's not so water it down that we have nothing to show for it. This year, somebody will give testimony and put you into where we put the God of Abraham and say, God of Apostolosi. It has, it has to come to that point whereby somebody can refer to you. See you and see what your God is doing and what he can do and what he's been doing and how he's turning things around and say, ha! Ah, the covenant name, your name will be added into that covenant list of what God can do. The God of. Amen. Amen. The God of. The God of. You know, there are people that have difficulty saying their names. The God of. <laughs> it becomes your personal God. You become, you get into the covenant list of the names who God had become their gods. That's the essence. That's why we pray. That's why we fast. That's why we seek him. That's why we look for him. That's why we trust him. That's why we put everything we have in him. And that's why we said to him, we can't leave you. I can't leave you. Jacob knew it. I had the privilege of getting there. I said, if I leave you now, where do I go to? I won't leave you. Give me the next verse. Thou stretch forth or stretch death out thy right. And then what happened? Again, why do they read this rage? When they know that the man you serve, the man whose you are, can only do what? And what happens? The earth does what? Swallows them, opens. Oh, you must covenant yourself with the Lord that your battles become God's battles. There are battles we don't need to fight if only you know whose you are. Jeremiah 32, 17 said, Ah, Lord God, thou hast made the heavens and the earth by thy outstretched arms. That's 32, 17. Ah, Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heavens and the earth. And there is Nothing. That's my God. And that's your God. Amen. By just by this. You know those days you see children say, ah, I got some muscle now. Can you bend my hand? You stretch it like this. Bend my hand, bend my hand. To show that there's power in your hand, isn't it? 
But the mighty God of Israel, the deliverer, the provider, the protector, the sustainer, the way maker, our brother, our father, our shepherd, our priest, our brother, and our friend. Doesn't need to say, bend it and bend it. Say, he stretches out his hands, and the whole earth is made and formed. That's him. Let's return to where we are. And the earth swallowed them. Finally, give me 13. Thou in thy mercy had led forth the people which thou hast redeemed. Thou hast guided them in thy strength unto the holy habitation. This year, the strength of the Lord will carry you Amen. and take you Amen. and sustain you. Amen. And doors that were shut will open of their own accord. Amen. Because the Lord is leading you Amen. and he's guiding you onto a holy habitation. Amen. If you believe that, can I get an amen? amen? That's the God you seek. That's the Lord that we all serve. And that's the one that we put our hope in. He never fails. He doesn't sleep. He is our God. Shall we stand on The keeper of Israel neither sleep nor slumber. That's why an extra pen. Look, I've dealt with people in the past who walked up to me and said, in my lifetime, I've not fasted before. Please pray for me that I, I learn to fast. Look, the only way to learn to fast is to start fasting. There's no school that is taught Course 101 is how to begin fasting. 102 is what do you do after 12 noon. Course 103 is how to do. No, 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 no. It's not taught anywhere. The only thing you need to do is to keep food away and start. Hallelujah. Church, hallelujah. You are able. God is able. And look at you after that. Here you are, still shining. Raise your hands up unto him. Just say something. Appreciate him. Appreciate the Lord. Appreciate the Lord. Oh, bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. And all that is within me. Bless.
you have done great things. Over these 21 days, in the life of this one standing before you, you have done great things. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. We won't turn back. Nobody will turn back. Nobody will faint by February. Nobody will faint by March. Amen. Nobody will faint by April. Amen. Nobody will faint by May. Amen. Nobody will faint by June. Amen. Nobody will faint by July. Amen. Nobody will faint by August. Amen. Nobody will faint by September. Amen. Nobody will faint by October. Amen. Nobody will faint by November. Amen. Nobody will faint by December. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You're able to keep what is committed to you. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. amen. And amen. And amen. Be seated. In one minute, let's, let's collect our tithes. Brethren online, brethren here, and let's pay our tithes. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Know that that, oh my, must come, you must commit. Who must commit? We must, we must, we must. Those online, those paying by Cash App, Cash App, Cash App, Cash App, what's up? Cash App, Zell, check, in house, cash, whatever, whatever, however, the Lord is keeping record. The Lord is keeping record. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Let's do that quickly. Soto Cracket Alebabo, Viva Palebo, Sopotoli Cabana, the new Papotoli Kete de Baba, Sensei Prosu Capata, Linda, make the Telebrat Sentele Brada, Catalababa Sotoli Break, Linda Dobos, 